When the optional Canadian Payroll module is used with Inspire, you can keep track of your employee's personal and job information. And importantly, you set the frequency for salary or hourly amounts for paying employees. When time card processing is performed and for pay summary inquiry. To access the list of employees, open the Payroll module and the Employees tab. From this list, you can create or remove or edit employees if user security rights have been granted, and also create an email to send them communications or possibly attachments or website links. Each employee has information and transaction inquiry separated on multiple tabs. Employee personal information can be found both in the personal section at the left and also on the address tab for their home address and contact information. Other employee details include their bank account if their paycheck will be direct deposited and job information specific to their company position. The social insurance number is validated on entry as it must be correct when payroll is processed. The pay frequency is used to determine whether this employee is included in a generated time card batch and how the payroll period is coded. The department assigned to the employee comes from a list that you define, and this sets a number of defaults for time card pay codes, benefits and deductions, and even modify general ledger accounts if the payroll accounting differs across employee groups. Pay frequency and department can be defaulted for new employees from company settings. When a department is selected, the associated time card entry codes can be found on a separate tab. These codes could represent periodic salary or hourly rate payments or other allowances or bonuses or types of remuneration. Time card codes can be added or removed for an employee as required. Amounts can be locked to the code default standard or modified particular for this employee. If a time card code is always included on paychecks, you can set automatic to ensure it is included in time card generation. Benefits and deductions assigned to the department are also listed for the employee, such as extended medical benefits or support payment deductions. These lists cannot be added to or have something removed. Only amounts can be changed, perhaps to zero if it doesn't apply. Similar to time cards, you can use department defaults or not and set which benefits and deductions affect tax calculations. Another place where information is maintained that affects employee compensation is the Amounts tab. Amounts that the employee indicates on their federal and provincial TD1 forms can be entered here, and the general amounts can be automatically determined where allowed, depending on the province. There are other deduction amounts that will affect time card tax calculations and also the amount of vacation the employee has, which can either be paid out with every paycheck or retained and accumulated as a balance until the employee uses it. As with many records in Spire, if you want to track employee information that doesn't already have a respective field available, user-defined fields are supported as required. And the list of employee communication notes or emails can be seen here, which includes time card emails if these were sent if user security rights are allowed. In addition to employee information, you could also see detailed transactions and summary amounts and statements posted for this employee. On the Time Cards tab, each individual time card is listed, and you can search for a specific time card, and drill down to see details about a particular payroll run where this time card was posted from. The Earnings tab shows a summary of various amounts for the current and previous payroll years. This includes earnings for each time card code type, withholdings for taxes, and other T1 form deductions, and the net pay totals. Also, employee benefits and deductions totals by type are listed below. T4 statement amounts can be seen here for all available payroll years and you may drill down within a particular year to see more details of what was on the T4 form that year and the ability to make adjustments if user security allows. It's possible to generate a new T4 
or export to Canada Revenue, though this is more typically done for all employees at once. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.